When you put this on, you're going down a dress size. The girls are girling. Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kira. I share videos on shopping for the best basics on the high street, how to build a capsule wardrobe and lots of other good stuff. So if that sounds good to you, then do hit subscribe because I would love to have you back for more videos. In one of my latest videos where I talked about how to look expensive or just some little tips and hacks I had on how to kind of always look polished, um, and I, I touched on shapewear and underwear and a bunch of you asked me to do this as a dedicated video. So here we have it. I'm gonna talk through bras, underwear, tights, shapewear, thermals, and also some other little wardrobe accessories that I love. Um, as always, everything will be linked right down in the description below. I'll also leave any additional info or any discount codes that I can find. So be sure and check that out. All of the info you need will be there. All right, so without rambling on too much, let's get straight into it. And we are going to start with bras. I know they can be such a tricky one to shop for because everybody wants something different. We all need different types of support. And you know, it can be a minefield and it took me a really Really long time to find my favorite go-to bras but the brand that I feel like I wear the most and the most regularly has to be Skims they just do it so so well so there's two in particular that I want to call out the first one is the Skims fits everybody crossover bralette this has like a really nice amount of coverage I would class this as kind of like a t-shirt bra it's not giving any crazy like lift or anything like that but it just sits really nicely under clothing and the main thing is that it is so incredibly comfortable i think there's something about the fits everybody range in skims that the fabric is just i don't know what they put in it but it's so stretchy malleable comfortable washes really really well I've worn these bras day in day out and they haven't lost their shape so i go for the black color of course and then i also go for one of their nude shades and the nude shade that i go for is the color clay and i feel like it's a good match for my skin tone so i have the skims fits everybody crossover bralette in black and in clay as i said but then i also have the skims fits everybody triangle bralette in black and in clay so these are two very similar bras but they do have a bit of a difference the triangle bralette has a bit less coverage the cup sizes are a little bit smaller and because of that i feel like it gives you a little bit more of a lift basically the fact that the triangle bralette is a little bit less coverage it just kind of makes things look a little bit perkier so if i was to give a good all-rounder bra that i feel it covers all bases it would be the skims fits everybody crossover bralette and again they'll be linked below now another skims bra i want to give a shout out to is again from the fits everybody range they're just so comfortable but it's the scoop bralette the scoop bralette is much more like a bralette it has coverage right the way across it's more of a casual bra i mean you can still wear it under clothing just fine i don't feel like it shows up i just have this one in the black um, but again, it's really, really comfortable. And some people tend to prefer bralettes like that. Um, so it's a nice one as well that I do really, really recommend. It's not my go-to as much as the previous two, but it's still very, very good. And again, that fits everybody fabric. It's so good. So another bra that I'm gonna give mention to is kind of like a wardrobe item. And it is this beautiful lace bralette from Sinead Keery. She is an Irish label and it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous bralette. If you wanted something lacy that's also really, really comfortable that you can wear under your white shirts if you're wearing them a little bit unbuttoned with a bit of lace peeking out. It's also great for wearing under a blazer. If you just want that little bit of lace on show, it's a great styling basic. The back is kind of ruched so you can see the elastic and then it has these built-in cups so really, really comfortable. And then it has that beautiful eyelash lace trim, which you can see here. So it's just really, really nice. These straps are also adjustable as well. And I'm wondering what size did I get this in? I got this in a size small. Most of everything that I'm mentioning here is either in a size small or a size UK eight, but I will leave info and sizing in the description below if there's anything that I missed. If you're looking for something that not necessarily has the best support in the world, but is just a beautiful lace bralette, this is gorgeous. So two other bra related items that I need to mention are like stick on things, right? Do we wear them every day? No. Are they a little bit annoying sometimes? Yes, but are they essential for certain occasion wear outfits, night out outfits, you know, wedding guest looks? Absolutely. And I really think that if you don't have one of each of the following, 
you need them in your wardrobe. So the first one is the Honorable Magic Stick-On Bra from Amazon. And I call it Magic Stick-On Bra because it is unbelievable. It costs somewhere under, I think, 15 euros. Sometimes on Amazon, the price can change, but it's very affordable. It's just a really good stick on bra. You can reuse it, which is amazing. I will say if you've used it a good few times, you might find the stick will start to go. But again, I feel like it's worth it to replace it every once in a while because it really does serve its purpose. If you have an outfit where you don't want any straps showing, if it's strapless, backless, you know, this bra is going to save you. I find it a really handy one that I always Always pack away on trips or occasions as I said weddings things like that it's brilliant and then that leads me on to the nipple covers now the magic stick on bra actually comes with nipple covers that you just get as a side which is handy but you can also buy them separately and I find Amazon is great for them because you can get the reusable silicone ones and they are good but sometimes I think my favorite ones are the very thin ones that are almost like plasters. Comes in this little handy travel case, which is a great way to keep them. Again, it stops them from getting like dirty or dusty. And then they have this plastic here and then you just peel it off and then you're good to go. And again, the silicone ones are good. Sometimes I find, depending on the thickness of the dress or the fabric that I'm wearing, sometimes you can see them and then I'll go for the fabric plaster ones, sometimes I'll go without. It's if it takes away from the outfit, then I will use a nipple cover. But if it's not that obvious, or if I just don't care, then, you know. So I'm not saying you absolutely have to use nipple covers. Do you know what I mean? So moving on, we're gonna talk about underwear and like knickers or pants. And again, I feel like in the last couple of years, I have found like my go-to everyday underwear that is just so nice. Doesn't like, you know, create like lines or bumps or anything under my clothing. And it's from m &S. and guys, Marks and Spencer, their underwear and their lingerie, you know, if you want something fancier, but their day-to-day -day underwear is chef's kiss. I feel like it's so well priced. It's really good quality. It lasts, it washes well. They're just so good. And what I tend to do is I will buy them in packs because they're so cost-effective. So what I have here is a pack that I bought recently and it's their five pack thongs. They're no VPL microfiber and they're basically very, <laughs> They look tiny on camera. They're actually not that small when you put them on, but they're basically your bog standard, nice, seamless thong. Like some people hate wearing thongs. I find them more comfortable actually, but they're just really nice. The material is really light and stretchy, kind of like the Skims fits everybody fabric. Not quite as good, but I mean, with Skims, they are a higher price point and they're just super comfortable. So these are like my everyday black ones. I also have these in nude. They are great, they're seamless. I get these in a size UK eight. Um, I can't remember the price. I think it's maybe 15 euros for a pack or something like that, but like really good value. But there's another style that I love, which I don't have to show you, but I'll show a photo and it's their lace trimmed thongs and they're just really pretty. Just a little bit of lace, you know, they're still like, pretty seamless like I don't think they come up under clothing um but they're just a little pretty you know a little something those are the M&S ones they're fantastic I highly recommend them now if you want to treat yourself and if you want what is probably the most comfortable underwear I have that has ever graced my body the skims fits everybody thong it is I think it's like 22 euro so for one you know, knicker, it's, a, a, you know, a little bit on the higher side, but again, it's gorgeous. It's that super light, really seamless, um, stretchy fabric. It feels like you're not wearing anything. Um, they're not one size, uh, but they may as well be because there's so much stretch in them. So next up, we're going to talk about shapewear. And this is something that I feel like you guys asked me about the most because really shapewear can make such a big difference to an outfit, especially occasion wear. It can really tie everything together and just give this gorgeous seamless finish. And my number one recommendation for shapewear, and I've mentioned these over on my Instagram, is the Spanx Thin Stinks. The Thin Stinks range is fantastic because it has a lovely, like seamless little bit of control, but it's so light. As you can see here, the material is just so lightweight. It's really, really comfortable. And I feel like depending on the level of like control and cinching you want, these do give you a little cinch, don't get me wrong, but it's more that they give you a seamless finish as opposed to like really sucking you in. Like they definitely do a little bit for sure. I always feel it when I put them on, they just snatch you a little bit, but it's more that they're great for things like niche dresses, lighter fabrics like satin that kind of can hug and sit on the body in sometimes weird ways. A pair like these worn with a satin slip dress will just make everything skim really, really nicely. 
they're so so good so i highly recommend getting a pair of the thin stinks they're often on offer on places like brown thomas and arnett's now if you wanted something a little bit more and you wanted like a little bit more of a cinch then they do this one it's the suits your fancy thong and it's like a thong style so again it's it's great if you're wearing slip dresses or things where you don't want to see like a brief line. I often find shorts are great for that because when they go down on the leg, you're not gonna see a brief like a VPL either. These are pretty sturdy. Um, again, in all of Spanx, I get a size small. And I think that with Spanx, you are supposed to get your true size. You shouldn't be getting smaller or bigger uh, because the whole point is that they're tailored to kind of cinch you in. Um, these are a little bit higher waist. I feel like these are slightly less comfortable. These. You could wear them all day, they're fantastic. These are a little bit less comfortable, but again, they're great if you are going to a wedding or something like that where you're not gonna be in it for that long. Um, they're really, really good. They're high waist as well. So I find that they're quite handy. But for me personally, I like that the Thin Stings, this model of the Thin Stings isn't super high waist um, because I don't need something that comes right up to under the bust. If anything, I kind of want it to cinch me in at my waist. And then I also have the classic Spanx. These are again, the shorts. They're a little bit longer on the leg than the Thin Stinks. Um, and these are again, a stretchier material. I can't remember what these are called. This was my first pair. They're like the power short, I think. Um, but again, they're all really, really good depending on the control that you want. But I would recommend of all of them, I think the Thin Stinks is the best because it's the most comfortable. I'll go for these if I'm wearing something like a knit dress. It could be during the day. It could be a slightly more dressy casual outfit. It doesn't have to be occasion wear, but these are comfortable enough to wear a lot more frequently and for longer. So I highly recommend them. Another piece of shapewear I'm going to show you is the Skims Sculpting bodysuit this one i mean it, it went so viral on tiktok it looks like it's for like an infant child like it's tiny this is the size small medium when i tell you like the stretch in this it is so compressing and when you put this on you're going down a dress size like it's like a good pair of spangs but obviously going all the way up as a bodysuit it also gives you fantastic boobs I mean, I'm not someone who ever has a lot of cleavage. I, as I said, my boobs aren't that big. When you put this on, the girls are girling. And it's great. <laughs> so this, I tend to actually wear more as a bodysuit like top than a shapewear underneath clothing because it's just so flattering. And I think Skims did design this probably as a shapewear bodysuit, but everyone wears this as a top. Kimberly knew what she was doing. Next up in our roundup, we are going to talk about tights. And it is that time of the year again. We are all getting our tights out. They're such a good basic for so many outfits. But I, like many others, went through so many years of buying shitty tights excuse my french but shitty tights that ladder as soon as you put them on they snag on your rings your bracelets your nails so i'm going to show you what i do believe is like the rolls royce of tights um and it is a brand called swedish stocking so the tights that i'm going to show you are the lowest rip resistant tights in 40 denier they're the impossibly strong tights by sheer Techs and they're absolutely fab now they are more expensive than your regular pair of tights but the idea is that you wear these and you wear them and wear them and wear them again and you don't need to replace them so let's say if you were someone for your workwear wardrobe you were wearing tights on the regular these would be the ones for you they feel so so soft you can see here 40 denier is a little bit thicker i do like a 10 and a 20 myself but they're gonna be gorgeous on. But the lowest ladder resist tights are going to be the strongest tights. So if you are sick of buying and rebuying tights that rip, then these are for you. They also do another um, kind of ladder resist tights and these are the Malva. Now these are in a 20 denier. So they're that little bit more sheer. They're gonna be a little bit more dressy. I personally feel like the lower the denier the dressier the tight looks because the sheerer is going to look on the leg and you can feel it here in these the fabric is a lot lighter um god they just they just feel so good this is a repurchase because i wanted to have a fresh pair to show you guys you can see they're a little bit more sheer these are going to be so nice on the leg now i have one other brand that i want to give a shout out to for tights and it's definitely a more high street price point if you don't want to spend that much on your tights and it is you guessed it, Marks and Spencer. They do their like everyday tights and they're much more sheer. They're like a 15 denier. 
They're very much kind of uh, dressier and I love them in the brown color. So brown tights is something that, again, until recently I just never would wear, but they're actually really flattering on the legs. They do a pack of three for about 11. They're not gonna be as strong as the Swedish stocking tights, but again, if you wanted a real occasion wear tight that was very, very sheer, um, I think they're a really, really good shout as well. Next up, we're gonna talk about thermals. And this is definitely something that is autumn, winter, you know, focused. You might not need these in the summer, but they're still a great outfit basic that I feel like it's often hard to find good ones. And often I think people completely overlook thermals in general, but they can make such a difference in the winter. It means you don't have to wear as many layers, but they can be a beautiful outfit basic in themselves. So the first one I'm going to show you is also by Swedish Stockings, and it is their beautiful cashmere base layer. This is so soft. I cannot explain to you. It's really comfy long sleeves. The length is nice and long. So because this is knitted from cashmere yarn, it is going to be so warm and comfortable. And honestly, I wish I had two of these so I could just be wearing one constantly when the other one was in the wash because it's so nice on. And I know I mentioned it in previous videos, but when I tend to wear my knits in the winter, I like to have a t-shirt or some sort of base layer underneath the knit. I just feel like it's nicer on the skin. And this is the perfect layer to wear under knits, under jumpers, or even just on its own underneath a blazer. It's just a beautiful long sleeve black top. It fits really, really nicely. So I think if you're looking to invest in fabrics like cashmere, which is just so luxurious if you can when or even if you select certain pieces and get them in those high quality cashmere yarns or cashmere blends it's so divine and the heat and the comfort is just next level so i'm going to show you a more affordable thermal and again we're coming back to my beloved MS underwear tights thermals they've got it all they're just so good and they do their heat tech range which is 10 out of 10 it's so good so what it is is basically a selection of tops, um, like base layers, round necks, but also it's their polo necks and turtlenecks that I love because I wear these just as a regular turtleneck under so many things in the winter. I'd wear it with this blazer. You could wear it under, um, you can even wear it under shirts and it looks gorgeous. It's such a basic. I reach for these so often. They're also really affordable. You can get them in a pack of two. So this one is their lighter heat tech. So it's like not as warm. It's, it's still a thermal, so it's gonna be really cozy, but it's not like the highest level. And it's really comfortable, super light. Again, has that lovely roll neck, which I love. And then I also have a pack of two, which is a slightly heavier thermal. So you can see this gray one here is that heavier fabric. This is on the higher end of the heat tech. And again, it's so soft on the inside. It's fleece lined, like, oh, it is just the dream. Like if you have these, you will never be cold again. Like wear them under everything. And they also look cute under everything, which is amazing. But ultimately it's just about being comfortable and cozy in the winter. It could be such a cold time. So I think thermals are your best friend like we have this association with thermals of being these like ribbed kind of grim looking things, but thermals can be so chic and they can be an outfit piece in themselves. So definitely check out the Swedish stockings thermals, this base layer or the M&S ones. They're so good. So there you have it guys. That is a look at all of my favorite underwear, shapewear, thermals, tights, all of that good stuff. I really feel like these pieces are such good basics in my wardrobe and especially in winter, they're kind of the foundation of my outfits. They keep me warm, cozy, and they just make my life a lot easier. So I hope you enjoyed. And as always, if there's anything else you'd like to see, I know you guys requested this video. If there's any other videos you'd like me to make, just let me know in the comments below. I love hearing your suggestions. You can also give this video a like if you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up and of course if you have not subscribed then please do i would love to have you back for more videos and i will see you in my next one bye